Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to create a sticky audio content bar in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is to go into our admin dashboard and create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to Pages, click on Add New. We're going to give this page a name. So let's call this podcast. Next, I'm going to say use Divi Builder. And instead of building this from scratch, we're going to choose a pre-made layout. So I'm going to come over here. And the pre-made layout we're going to choose is a podcast-based uh, layout pack. So I'm going to come over here, search for podcast. And the page that we need is going to be the landing page. So here's the landing page. I'm going to go, go ahead and click on it. And then I'm going to say use this layout. All right, so what, I'm need to, what we need to do next now is to find the row. So this is the row that um, we need to locate. Now, once we've located this, we're going to add another row below this. So make sure that you're, you're hovering over here and you can see here, this is our button to add our row. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, add a single column. And now I'm going to go into my settings of this row. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. And then next, I'm going to go to my design tab. So here we need to go into sizing because this is where we need to adjust our gutter width. So I'm going to say yes to use custom gutter width and we are going to set this to one. Next, we need to uh, make sure our width is edge to edge. So I'm going to set this to 100%. Now for the maximum width, I'm also going to do the same. I'm going to set this to 100%. All right. So now that we have this all set, the next step now is to make sure that we have enough uh, breathing space around our row. So I'm going to scroll down here until I find spacing. So over here on spacing, we are going to add a top padding of 10 pixels. And this needs to be both to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to activate this chain so I can add the value both to the top and the bottom. Next, we're going to add left and right. So here we're going to use a different uh, option. We're going to use percentage. So I'm going to say 10%. And again, it's both to the left and the right. All right, so now that we have all this set, we need to make this sticky. So to make it sticky, we're gonna come over here to advanced, and then we're gonna come over here to scroll effects. And then here by default, it says do not stick. So we want to stick to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. So while scrolling, as soon as we get to this area here, this is going to stick to the top, which is really, really cool. All right, so now that I've added all that, the next step now is to add our audio content. So let's go ahead and do that. So I am going to save this. Now, as you're working on this, it may be that uh, it'd be quite difficult to locate where your row is. What you can also do here is to use your layers. So to locate it, I know it's this row here. And you can see there it has been selected. So you can uh, expand it and create or add. Uh, your new modules. So the module I'm going to add is going to come right here. So I'm going to say add new module. And the module I'm going to add is an audio module. So I'm going to search for it and select it. Okay, great. So you can see here that it is now uh, in place. All right. So what we need to do next is to uh, add a call to action. So the call to action we need to add here is just to um, complement what we've just added here. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to look for my call to action and duplicate it. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. And I'm going to drag it down just below my player. So there we go. Here's my call to action and here's my player. In fact, you know what? The call to action that I need is the one with the play button. So I'm going to delete that and let's go back and here it is. Okay. So this is the one that we need. So I'm going to duplicate this and drag it down here. Okay, great. So now that I've added it down there, we now need to go into the audio settings and make some adjustments to it. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon. So let's style this by coming over here to design and we're going to start with our title text. So here we need to add our sticky option. So for our title text here, I'm going to hover and make sure I select the sticky option and also make sure I have a sticky item here selected and the size is going to be 14. So you can see there that it will be the sticky 
option. We're also going to add our line height. So I'm going to come over here and it's going to be 1.3. So I'm just going to set this to 1.3 as my line height. But you see, I've just made uh, the mistake here. When we add our line height, it needs to be on the sticky item. So I'm going to select my sticky here and then I'm going to paste 1.3 EM. Uh, we also need our caption line height. So I'm going to search for it. And here it is, the caption line height. And again, making sure I'm adding this on the sticky. Paste it like that. That's looking great. So all it does is it shrinks as soon as, as, soon as it sticks to the top. So the next thing we need to do is to change the width of the audio but add sticky. So I'm going to come back, get rid of uh, my search here. So we need to go to sizing. So I'm going to scroll down here until I get to sizing. And what we need here is the width. So I'm going to hover over here, click on this little icon for my sticky option. And then over here on the maximum width on the sticky, this needs to be 100%. Now we need to adjust the spacing for the audio module as follows. So we're going to uh, remove the margins. So I'm going to scroll down here to spacing and for the margins, it's going to set to zero, both to the top and the bottom. And for the padding, it's also going to be zero, both to the top and the bottom. For the left, we're going to set this to zero. And then to the right, we're going to set this to 20. So now we're going to add some uh, CSS code. Uh, so I'm going to come over here to advanced, custom CSS. And we need to target the audio title. So I'm going to come all the way down here to audio title. But we want to add it under the sticky tab. So I'm going to click here on the sticky tab. I'm going to paste this like that. Next, I need to uh, look for my audio meta text. So this is going to be, I think it's further down here. So I'm going to paste it here. So make sure the audio title is text align left. And then the audio meta is text, al text align left. And important, now while we continue with this, we're going to go to the player buttons. And then again, it needs to be under the sticky. So I'm going to paste it in here. And this is our color. And then we also need the player slider. And here it is. And again, this needs to be under the sticky tab. So paste that color. So the next thing we need to do is to come back over here to content. And then on the text, this is where I need to add my title. And then over here on the artist. So here is where you would add your album. So once you uh, add all that, you can come over here to your background now and remove the background. And we also need to add our audio here. So if I click on this drop down, you can add your audio file by uploading it. So I'm just going to click here on upload. And uh, we don't have anything in our media library here. But if I had a file, this is where I can now click on select files and upload it. And once it's uploaded, it's going to have this player right here. Okay, so let's close out of here. So over here, we also need to um, add a text module. So I'm going to search for my text module and select it. Okay, so now we need to stylize this. So um, in here, we're just going to call this all episodes. Now we need to go in and stylize it. So I'm going to come over here to design text. And first of all, I'm going to center it by coming all the way down here to text alignment and center it. And uh, we also need to change our font here. So I'm going to go back and change this to Leto. There we go. And select it. Next, we're going to make this bold. So I'm going to come over here to regular, change this to bold. And for our styling here, I'm going to make it all caps. For the text size, I'm going to set this to 10. And for our letter spacing, I'm going to set this to 2 pixels. And then for my line height, I'm going to set this to 1.3. And we also need a text color here because this color that we have here is not great. So I'm going to select a color that is easier to read on my dark background. So that's all I need to do here. I'm going to go ahead and save. And then I'm going to come over here to this icon. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon. Now this is a blurb and we need to adjust it so it's slightly smaller. So I'm going to come over here to design, image and icon. And I'm going to go to icon font size and change the size here from 80 to 50 pixels. So you can see now it's much smaller and that's exactly what we're trying to achieve here. Now let's head over to sizing because there's a few things that we need to adjust here. So first of all, we want to set our content width to 100%. So content width here, let's set this to 100%. For our width, we're going to set this to 20% and making sure it's still centered. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a background color. So to do that, we need to go back to the content tab, click on background. 
and we are going to click here on this plus button and paste our background color like that okay next we need to add an image so i'm going to now click on the third tab click on the plus button and this is where we need to add an image and i have an image here from my media library i'm going to use this one here and uh, click upload an image and you can see now that my image has been added to the background but we're not done yet because we need to add our background image blend so i'm going to scroll down here and choose luminosity so here it is and that's looking much much better and um we also need to add uh, some css code here so i'm going to go to the advanced tab and in the main elements of the custom css we're going to just paste our css code here so this uh, it needs to be hidden initially but after scrolling we want this to show so to do or to achieve that we need to click here on the sticky and then click on the sticky tab so again we're going to add uh, some css code here and by the way this css code can be found in the link which i'll add in the video description below so i'm going to paste it in here now so this now shows up this image but on sticky so that's really really cool and i also need to add some uh, css to this on the blurb and this is on the image okay so let's find our image here so this is our blurb image so um i'm gonna paste it like that and that just to uh, really adjust our margin here at the bottom all right so pretty much we're done here um the next step now is to go to the column that contains uh, these two modules and it is right here so i'm going to click here on this gear icon and go into the columns so i'm going to add a bit of css code as well because we want that when we scroll our player is on the left and our image is always going to be on the right so to achieve this we're going to come to custom css and then on the main element i'm just going to paste this and this is going to make sure that everything is going to be side by side so that's the normal state and we also need the sticky state so i'm going to come over here click on the sticky item click on the sticky tab and we're going to paste our code in here as well so you can see now on the sticky state it is showing but when it's normal it does not show okay so now that we have this all set it's time now to take a look and see what this looks like so i'm going to save save one more time and now when we scroll notice what happens when we get to the top there we go so now it's stuck there at the top and then when we scroll down it's released pretty cool indeed so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care